Pizza time. Welcome back. It is part two of a special double episode of A Pizza My Life. Pizza Eric here, Sean Sauce, Big Mike, Corey. Guys, welcome back. Thank you for hanging out. Let's get right into it. We have we Let's have lots of topics right and not a lot of time. We got, very, we got through very little. <laughs> yeah, we right. did. We got sidetracked. I mean, we knew it was going to happen. That's why we planned a double episode. We did. Yeah. Yeah. So... Let's at the end of last week's episode, we teased a little bit of a story. Corey just got back from uh, Las Vegas. That's true. The the city what was, of lights. What is Vegas like right now? Obviously, Big C's hitting everywhere hard. What is it? Is it even a good time right now? I feel like this is going to be disappointing because I would say after going, I wouldn't go back again until it's over. Oof. Um, so, so like, what about it, though? All right, so I'll, I'll kind of... First off, if you guys Ooh. have been on, like, planes and stuff, it's kind of a pain in the ass, just the whole thing. In general. Yeah, I mean, wearing yeah. a mask the whole thing. Like yeah. You have to wear the mask the whole time on the plane. The whole time <laughs> on the plane. Plane. plane rides regardless. That, yeah, I mean, Vegas also, seats. you know, four hours <laughs> or plus. You know, like, and it, so it's it's just a long time. So it's like, you're, like, pulling off time change. a little bit, you know, here and there. Yeah, let your um, face not be so yeah. sweaty. So do they give you drinks and food on the plane? They So the, it's literally in a Ziploc bag already predetermined. You get a small bottle of water, a cookie, and then a, like... Kind bar. I like yeah, they just hand it to everybody. They just but can the you, but can you, take, can you like well. eat it on the plane? Yeah. Or, okay. You, you could take your mask down to eat. Gotcha. Yeah. That's Even fine, in maybe. Comfort Plus. Uh, <laughs> I. You know what? To be fair, I wasn't in Comfort Plus. I was on Delta. You know, actually, I, I feel like one funny thing about um, I this can't trip. To your trip anymore. I, 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 <laughs> I was on an aisle seat, and if you guys have seen the movie or heard of it, Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, love that movie. So really funny movie, love right? Love that movie. So I, uh, I, I haven't seen it. I've been wanting to see it. So I, I decided, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to watch this movie. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, I think that's funny because it sounded like we were going to reference something from the movie. Super funny oh, yes, movie. yes, yes. Hold on, it. hold on, hold on. <laughs> so I hadn't seen it. I'm on the plane. I'm on an aisle seat. And I decided, I'm watching Jojo Rabbit. So it starts up. And the first 10 minutes of that movie is basically just them doing – Heil Hitler and showing Nazi shit like crazy. <laughs> and all okay. I can think is yeah. the people behind me and like just looking at me on my aisle seat are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? We got, we got fucking they, Nazi. Like it's a, it's kind of a low key movie. Not a lot of people know yeah. what Jojo Rabbit is. And there's this guy just I'm laughing my ass off and it's just like Heil Hitler all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this feels like a bad time in the world to be watching this for one Air and a God. bad yeah. place yeah. to be watching it. Yeah. Shout out to the movie. Great That's movie. so Great funny. Movie. You really have to kind of be conscious of I, I when you put a movie on, it, like while you're on a plane, you have to be conscious of what is in that movie. <laughs> I was I had preloaded a Spring Breakers. Oh, okay, my so I was gonna say that's on yours because they don't show nudity. Yeah, on the <laughs> but I was plane like, ones. I was like, I was like, the Spring Breakers. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll on Netflix. I'll watch that. Sure. And I pull that up on my iPad. All of a sudden, there's titties left and right, yep. and I'm like, do Shout I need out to, titties. do I need to kind of <laughs> hey, hide? Shout out Riff Raff. Do I need to hide? Neon Icon. Yeah. was the source material for James Franco's yeah. character character in, in Spring, Spring Breakers. Breakers. Not a good movie. <laughs> it didn't look good. Jojo Rabbit was good. I'm yeah, Jojo Rabbit was, was very good. good. Spring but Breakers. It was. It was worth a watch because, because of the, the titties. The titters. I also like Left basically right. James Franco's Riff Raff. I like Riff Raff as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Jody High Roller. <laughs> no one likes Riff Raff as a He's person. He's a hilarious Mike's person. Just, not a human being. Mike. He just likes Riff Raff. He's hilarious. Yeah. That's oh his kind God. of people. Riff Raff. No, Riff, Riff Raff, Raff the person. Right. So <laughs> Singular person. Anyways, you get to kind Vegas. Of, it's kind of a pain in the ass traveling, right? And you get to Vegas, and yeah. it, man, it, it really was like a ghost town in a lot of spots. It must have been like every casino was like 20% of the tables were open. Uh-huh. You know, it, it, it was, and they were so strict about masking up everywhere. Like, people would be smoking cigarettes, and in between puffs, you needed to re-mask up. And, like, That's security was walking move. around. Oh. Like, sir, like, I right when we got there, there was a guy who was just kind of walking behind us. He was smoking a cigarette. Yeah. And security came up to him and said, sir, you need to put your mask back up in between puffs. That's that's too long exposure. It's it's like, man, and there's oh, it's, man. it's empty. Every single bar. I mean, the thing about Vegas that's wonderful is like every nook and cranny. It's like, oh, there's we can fit Craziness. a twenty person bar yeah, in there. Yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. here's a closet. It's now a bar, and all of those were closed. Everything shoehorn some debauchery so, in here. Like, we had times where we couldn't find alcohol. 
in Vegas, that's which insane. seems like a cardinal oh, sin, right? I mean, yeah. that's crazy. So right. It was dry so in the desert. It's like there's you either Six. are in a restaurant and you can't sit in a restaurant and say, I'll have a beer. You have to order food or they can't be. Oh, yeah. You have to. So, uh, you know, and then it's either, you know, while you're playing games, they'll just bring you drinks. But there's like one person working. Oh, you have these huge casinos. So slow. Yeah, you have these huge casinos. We were in the uh, the Palazzo gambling. Really nice, big casino. There was like twenty people, including yeah. our group of five. Yeah. Like total in the place. No, that it's sucks. Too, it was crazy. It just it wasn't. And there's no what, shows yeah. going on, right? There's no nothing. shows at all. And and like the no show with the no show. We were at Caesar's Palace, and the the the, the hotel next door, the Mirage, is just closed. And it's just weird because it's just all dark. Gates up in front of like the drive-in. Yeah, it's it's, odd. it's very eerie in some port parts and stuff. Like we were in the the big mall, the Forum Mall or whatever, next to Caesar's Palace. Yeah, and it was like eight p.m. and we were the only people walking around. Really? And, like, so a lot of shops are closed. I would I wouldn't go I mean, back. Of until course, no mall walkers. Dude, it was weird. So were there still like hookers walking around? So I yes, there was still. <laughs> but they some have hookers. masks. They have they, masks. Uh, it actually, at at the D, they have like the you know like the sugar boxes they call it where they have lady dancers in the pit. Yeah. All of them are wearing masks, which it's kind of it's just really weird Funny, to like yeah. see, you know. <laughs> um, but like the last night we were there, we were waiting to jump on uh, a blackjack table, and there was this dude just sitting by himself. And of course, this girl walks up and she's like, "Oh my god, I was here last night. Were you here? Like, oh yeah, we should hang out." And immediately they get up and walk right to the ATM, you know. Hold on. And then they walk away. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so the reason I asked, I was in Vegas for work. And I was, so I was like staying at the New York, New York, and I was walking over to like get a pass at MGM. Were they okay. doing the, the lady coupons and flicking them, making no, the noise? No, no, no. None of those people. So, so this was, coupons? this was at, this was at like it's hooker training 1030. Cards. Yes, it is. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you can collect them all. It's too so it, this was like 1030 in one. the morning. Gotta catch and them all. And I'm just, I'm just walking, I'm walking. They have like a conjoining like bridge. I go out the door and I hold the door for some lady. Did she say thank you? Yes. So I hold the door for some lady, and as they keep walking, she goes, hey, what are you doing? And I'm just like, oh, I don't know, just just here for work. And she's like, oh, yeah, you staying here? I'm like, yeah. She goes, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been here for uh, the weekend. She goes, oh, where were you before? I'm like, oh, the Flamingo with, like, my friends and whatnot. And she's like, oh, I was over there. I'm surprised I didn't see you. I'm like, yeah, I don't Weird. know. It's a big, big spot. Yeah, why would you just randomly <laughs> run into people? I'm not at, like, the hooker den. Yeah, no, yeah. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then she's like, so, like, what are you trying to get into tonight? You trying to – you trying to party? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and then and then I just awkwardly speed up my walk. And then and then I go to the door, the next door, and I don't hold it for her anymore. Now I, now <laughs> now I know you're an asshole. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're I, like, I hate hookers. Now. It was I'm showing ten, them too friendly It was her. 10 in the no, morning. She's wearing a hoodie and jeans, and I was not expecting it to be a hooker. I thought she was just like. Probably get a better deal. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I think she was like leaving, like leaving someone else's stuff, and she's like, right, "Let me just see if I can." She stole that hoodie, man. You could have yeah. lost your hoodie. Dude, it was I. I was so like the whole time she was originally talking. I'm just like, "All right, this, you know, she's just maybe she's flirting with me at most, but like, whatever. She's just like being friendly because I held the door for her. Maybe she doesn't get the door held for her a lot. Yeah, whatever. And then she's like <laughs> trying to party tonight. I'm like. Oh, maybe she's a oh. rowdy Midwestern, just like yourself. No, she was. I think that she people was. walking alone, man. It's like that's the yeah. that's the target. You're alone. Oh, yeah. you want, if you want to, but hook when you, you said up, when you said like, oh my god, yourself. I was here last night. I'm like, that's a line yeah, that you, they I, just used. I remember, like, because I was fuck? all I could think no, was, was special. Yeah, I, all I could think was they're for sure a cop. Why would she just assume she would run into this guy at this yeah. giant ass yeah. casino? Like, like is that a common? Like, you remember all the people? I don't remember yeah. anyone I've ever well, seen. She was casino. like, oh, I was at the, I was at the Flamingo. I'm surprised they didn't see you. I'm like, yeah, that's big. I yeah, I was like, also in California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like okay. Yeah. Who would remember? I don't yeah. remember anybody at the casino. Have so, you yeah. been in America yeah. your whole life? I just wish someone were like would would have been like watching this because it was like I was talking to her, and then as soon as she as soon as she inquired, I'm like, oh, and then I just like sped walked. But we were both going to the same spot, so I just sped walked in front of her. That awkward. Yeah, like right. just awkwardly, like just hurried up my gate and was like, "I'm just going." But she's going. Team was watching. He's like, "All right, <laughs> that's it." We got one guy turn him down. Yeah. You know, Good about boy. Vegas, one of my favorite when, when, there's, no, like, <laughs> when there's people at Vegas. One of my favorite games we play is date or daughter, and it's you just find all the older <laughs> men who are with much younger women, and you figure out are they out with their daughter at a nice dinner, or is that a date of theirs? And it's just a great. Do you ever a find great out? Game. Oh, no, we, no one asks. But uh, you just know. take well, a pool from the table yeah. and move on. So and, uh, <laughs> keep tallies. There are most dates, most dates. We did that in DC one time, and it was like, is that a hooker or is that a real date? <laughs> yeah. So date or hookers. Daughters. On that note, I was in I was in Amsterdam, and there's this bar, uh, awesome bar. I can't remember. I think it's called like the Sailor or something. 
but it is Shout it is Salem, it is legitimately <laughs> like a bar with like an open uh window right on the red light district mm. so i went there just sat down and you just watch people walk up and down the red light district and like the hookers are just on the street so like they just are sitting there and they're Legal, just like, they're like hey shit. do you just do you want to come in so we just sat there one time it was like 10 30 11 in the morning just sitting there see some dude this hooker was trying to get anyone to come in she just she asked everyone everyone denied her just sitting there this dude walks there's in something visually wrong with this particular hooker no i think it's just that it's early in the morning oh. people aren't you know maybe as <laughs> in the hookers in the morning it's like, like thursday you know, morning <laughs> yeah, my breakfast first. no 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 it's normal hooker but i think people are just like hey like let me get on with my day and then maybe i'll come back later yeah let me finish Free this time breakfast <laughs> after like, yeah. that's what they should this do. dude fresh has to be fresh off a plane he's coming in walking with his like uh Carry suitcase on. yep he's just carrying around she has asked probably 10 people they all denied her asked this guy we see them talk for two seconds. I'm talking like the table behind me. I'm like, he's doing it. They're like, no way. I'm like, he's about to. And he just walks he's in. We're like, oh, we just, everyone just starts cheering. We're like, fuck yeah. What I wonder was if this guy had just gotten there, how terrible was that flight or however he got there that he's like, I need to get laid immediately. He went to Amsterdam probably for the hookers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, the, in, there was no clothes in that brief. It was yeah. just sex toys. Dude, in Amsterdam, I had some dude. Power with, bars. I had some dude with a crow on his shoulder. Attached to a leash, come up and tell me I'm a fucking stallion. Was it was a crow what? alive or just very alive? No, a live crow. It was a <laughs> did crow. He, did he try to like jump on you and slap your ass? No, he just slapped just... me on the back. We're just walking by and he goes, he goes, oh, it's a fucking stallion. I was like talking to some, I was with <laughs> some girl. I was just, like talking to some like girl that like I met. Was it a Brandon Lee statue? I, on his no, it was a crow, dude. It was a legit crow. I know he's talking. He's <laughs> about the movie <laughs> crow. That's another. That's a seven right that's there. The crow. All right, Brandon, Brandon Lee. Lee. All right, seven right there. Yeah, he died. On the set. On the set. Fucked up. Rip. Fucked up. So yeah. my, my buddy, we were in Vegas now. He, first time he'd ever been. Talking about killing it. <laughs> God damn. First time oh he's ever God. been. And he's he's like, man, I'm going to party. I'm going I'm to try to do Vegas stuff. And I felt bad because it's like, this is the worst first yeah. time you could ever go to Vegas. You know? Yeah. So you've been before, though. Uh, yeah, a couple okay. times. I've been in Vegas a few times. And uh, I've done like the guy's trip I've done with, yeah. with my girlfriend. and yeah. This was probably now. easier on the liver. Yeah. Um, this time, yes. Well, yeah. I mean, I still woke up feeling really shitty a couple mornings because we just found old. the all you can drink things yeah, and old. got yeah. involved in those. You were then young you, buck. Then um, you have fun. Yeah, when, yep. when I yeah, when I was twenty one and I went, I was like, I could drink all day. Didn't matter, oh yeah, thirty um, <laughs> year old me definitely suffers. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're walking down the street and uh, my buddy, first time in Vegas, we're passing this couple and the guys he's smoking a joint. It's, you know, all legal there. There's big dispensaries mm-hmm. now, and he's trying to get his girlfriend to hit this big joint. He's like, I just bought this. This it's bad, man. This is primo stuff. She's like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. So my buddy, who, as far as I know, has never smoked pot before in his life, is like, hey, I'll hit that shit. And the guy's like, do it. Just grabs it. You know, big old inhale, passes oh back. My God. He did that twice to another person in a yeah. different day again. And I was like, who the fuck? Dude, are he I had two hits off these? random joints? Yes. Random people. I had, a buddy do, I had a buddy do that in Vegas, too. And I'm like, dude, that's street drugs right now. <laughs> <Shout> <laughs> like, you, know that, you don't know what is in that. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, hit this shit. And he's like, you know, like. I don't yeah. think he'd ever smoke pot before. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that was his first time in Vegas. And he's like, I'm the first time smoking pot. Dude. I'm just living this. Dude, I when I saw that, I'm just like, that, so that could funny. have, like, heroin just laced in there. I'm like, dude, that's street drugs right there. Like, you got, go to the dispensary and get a joint if you want to just partake. Yeah. But Listen, like, I'm, I don't think I'm walking on the street of Vegas where you're going to find the heroin laced joints. That's like you don't in a crazy so? suite. Like, hey, they, they're not, they're not guy, upgrading <laughs> on the streets. Like, unless they're, trying, unless they're, trying, unless they're trying to get you hooked. And they're like, hey, man, you got some more of that stuff. Perfect. You know, yeah, first puff is free. Second one will cost you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but like, yeah. actually, like the last time I went to Vegas was actually the only time I went to Vegas. But like, literally, just people on like, hey, you want some cocaine? I'm like, this. Yes, guy. just randomly what? just ask you. Yes, yeah. you walk around coke. and it's like, hey, you want coke? You're like, why are you just? Yep. Why are you just asking like, you can people? Just, you can just. He's hook like, me up yeah, with that. you know, I'm a uh, like I'm a vendor at like the uh, yeah. sports arena. You know, coke, like, here, get your coke. <laughs> <laughs> nice talk, line, coke. Hot dog, wrong job. Never mind. We had uh, one of those. Dollar bill for you to suck it up with your nose. But I'm like, this guy's. For sure, a cop. <laughs> this one though, sure, yes. Is he wasn't. The, even is this a Mexican Coke? <laughs> he actually he bumped into my buddy like like shoulder, and he like my buddy turned around. Pun? It was like, dude, and he goes, he goes, you want to buy Coke? Nine. And he's like, no. And the guy's like, okay, and just walked on. But like that was instead of like, hey man, it was just he literally like ran into him like enough that they both turned. And he was right. like, what the hell? That's a good way to yeah. get yeah. somebody. He was like, you. what the hell? You know? What the hell? Do you want Coke? Yeah, like this guy okay. just fucked up. He's like, "Want to buy drugs?" And he's like, oh, and then he's off. Yeah, really give sure. him a it, shoulder. It, Vegas shit. is like it's it's a it's its own animal. It's just yeah, its it own really spot. Is. I mean, obviously during COVID, it sounds like yeah. it's not. It, it was a. Bug. So I'm assuming you didn't get hung over, like horrifically, since every time you had to consume alcohol, you had to 
like align it with food. Well, yes, but hey, uh, we, also, we also we also spent four hours four hours at uh, Bottomless Mimosas like our last day, and, and uh, we had we had a nice dinner scheduled at six for you know Emerald's place, nice nice spot there, you know one, one nice bam thing. yeah. And we went to the ice bar there too, and we just got way too fucked up. We ended up getting kicked out of the ice bar. They stopped they stopped serving us. Oh we got, shit! We got oh, way wow. too drunk. You yeah. you get stopped served in Vegas. Vegas yeah, yeah, we you fuck fucked up. up. So we're leaving, <laughs> and I I apparently so. Two of the people with us Slim went to the Higgins bathroom, Vegas. and it's outside of the bar, and they wouldn't let them back in. So we just don't know they're there, and we're too drunk to even realize they're gone. So they're just not there anymore. And when we're leaving, I couldn't even stand up. So like my <laughs> girlfriend's like paying with my credit card. Like I, I, I'll, I'll fiance, change fiance, yes, the terminology. Yes. Fiance is paying fiance, with my credit card. Like tough change. All right, Jeez. let me uh, <laughs> l- let me handle this. And she was carrying you. She, well, she took me to another a place to like sew me up. We're Anna like two hours. Theory. Structurally, I don't two buy hours. That. Yeah, very <laughs> she, couldn't do it. She's like a hundred pounds soaking wet. Uh, <laughs> you know, two hours till we have this nice dinner, and I'm I like can't stand. So she like sewers me up. Oh my and God. we were like, where are the hell are our friends? Like Just shoving bread we have one of their cell phones. The other one's not answering. The other hey, one, you we're have like, one like one of their cell phones. One of their cell phones. Pocket. Two people missing yeah. in our five person group. He got hooked to and uh, weed, they just, heroin, and Vegas. And we're hammered. We have like dinner reservations in two hours, and we can't get a hold of them. And I'm like, are oh they in like God. Vegas jail? You know, like yeah. this is a terrible place to just be missing. You like, are li- you how are far can you the be? Hangover. And this is, yeah, this is the Thursday. Yeah. This is the plot. So we're the flying out <laughs> six a.m. Friday morning is our flight takeoff. So we're like four a.m. alarms to get all our shit together get to the airport. Six a.m. for a Vegas flight home is. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, I, yeah, I, I ended up taking a nap, you know, going to sleep for a bit that night, but not everyone did. Yeah, you know, some people didn't. But so I end up calling the hotel, and I'm like, I'm like, God, I hope they're in their room. Like, they patch me through their room, and he answers, and I'm like, like, Jordan, you're, you're there. Is, is Jackie with you? You're like, you're in the hotel room, and he goes, We'll be checking out soon, and I'm like, oh, Well, <laughs> all right. Clearly, you have <laughs> no idea what's happening yeah, right now. Yeah, you're yeah, very yeah. much in a stupor, and I'm like, I assume. Uh, <laughs> you are not making it to our 615 dinner reservations that we're currently waiting at. Yeah. And he's like, I don't think we'll be attending this evening, no. <laughs> and like, so, like, we talked to him, and I just hang up. I'm like, there's no why way. I know so, he's alive. I know why he's alive. Why was he so uh, – So when like I talked to him, he's, he's like, <laughs> I literally me. don't recall that happening. He thought it was the hotel calling him, like, yeah. telling him he needed to get out of his room. And he's like, we'll be checking out Hello? soon. Yep, we, we, we need more towels yeah. getting out of the so room. It was like, thank God we found him, though. Cause All good. What a mess, man. <laughs> Nothing like losing the first time in, in Vegas. Yeah, they were at least and in the And now you wonder why I low-jacked you. <laughs> There's, no, not, I, I just uh, microchipped him via EpiPen. Yeah. GPS him. <laughs> you get too drunk. People stay there. I don't even know if that counts as a dad oh, joke. I don't know where God. that was even going. It's, it's happened. <laughs> it's real. Corey, you have one of my favorite stories that I have heard recently, at least. Is hey, welcome Pizza Eric on the, the pod. Yeah, I, I, hey guys, I'm here. He's and never been to Vegas. Listen, so can when the fun brokers are around, yeah. you, you don't nothing. need it. We'll just handle it all. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing He's never been to Vegas, so Vegas. that was like basically Eric like chills out. You should just take your bath and break there. Yeah, I've, I'll edit myself out of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Corey, you have one of the error 404, Pizza Eric not found. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Um, Corey, you have one of my favorite stories uh, about being hungover. What happened? So this is this is what we're talking like. I'm in high school one. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So as I, as I call it, the worst day of my life that Statue I very much limitations. I very much pick out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, listen, don't drink. Worst it's a terrible day. Thing for you. It leads to horrible things, as this story will explain. Life's yes. a long time. Plenty of drinks left. Yeah. Plenty yes. of drinks. <laughs> so I'm. It, it's. Summer right after graduating, I'm like 17, and you know you're at all your friends have graduation parties. You know you go to yeah. town, you can drink some, whatever. And uh, we're drinking at one buddies, and like just you know balls to the wall, just drinking as much as we can. And at the time, I had a like a 1998 Ford Ranger. I mean, it was like basic, you know, crank windows, all that stuff. And we're sitting in the street. And just hammered. They're sitting in the back of my truck. I have no idea why we're there. And yeah. I go to do like the hop out thing. I'm, I'm like laying in the back of the truck, go to hop out with one arm. And I'm hammered. And I catch my foot. And I just face first out of the back of my truck. Out of the oh. Dude, I split open like right above my oh. eyebrow. I split open my face. I'm like bleeding. God. And I, I'm I'm like, I pop right back up. Right? I'm of drunk. Of course, yeah. You're drunk. I'm you like, don't even realize. I'm ready to go, man. It doesn't matter to me. Give me a beer. You know? And. And we're, I think I hopped out because we were jumping to someone else's car who wasn't drinking because drinking and driving is bad. Um, and we're going to this, like, 24-hour diner, which w- at the time, like, it was just full of drunk high school kids. Of like, course, yeah. It's four oh, in the yeah. morning. It's like four in the morning, yeah. right? And I, I, we get in there, and I'm just bleeding out of my face, like, <laughs> all over the place. And I'm in this, this 
this diner, you know, like I'm dabbing napkins. And I remember I turned around. Like, like sir, should we call a hospital? There was just no, I'm totally fine. Some other, yeah, yeah. like the lady's like, are you okay? And I'm looking, like, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, looking like matter. a total disaster. Can I get, can I get some can I get, uh, wheat toast, please? I can't even imagine what I look like. There's no pictures of this, thank God. And uh, so, I mean, it's a horrific night. Like, I, I get back, and it's the next day. Obviously, I'm pretty hungover. Yeah. I have a splitting headache. I have a huge black eye. Yeah, you have dried blood it's, on it's your face. It's 8 a.m., and I, my phone's blowing up, you know, and, like, <laughs> I open my eyes, and my dad's calling me, and we they had just built a new house, and, like, they were laying sod. And he's like, tons of sod just arrived. You need to get home ASAP <laughs> oh. and roll out sod with me. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, it's it's his truck, too. He's yeah. like, you get the truck home. I need it, you know, like. You got to move stuff to the back and all that. Yeah. And so I like go to the bathroom, like peeling blood off my face, man. It was, I'm like trying to wash up a little bit. I get home like 845 and I'm just rolling sod, <laughs> splitting headache, trying to drink water. <laughs> like my parents, Dad, are, they're, they're, you know, the old thing like, well, I hope you got more in on the other guy. And I'm like, I didn't even fight anyone. I just fell on my face. Yeah, dad. It was <laughs> this the, is the lamest man, story ever, guys. Like, yeah, the ground yeah the like ground one. They're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> real cool, dumbass, you know, and uh so I, I literally I roll side for like five hours and then I, I bust table oh, I mean it's seventeen. I bust tables for a living and I stopped so I could shower and get ready to go bus on a Saturday <laughs> from a, like eleven to ten bus tables at what used to be Steak and Ale and with a huge shiner still. Yeah. Just, like yeah. your body just doesn't recover. It's it was like a hundred degrees out, you know, middle of the summer, sweating my ass off. Dude, it does sound worst miserable. Day of my life. Just the sun. Oh, That's dude. just so funny that you can't just be like, Dad, can we just unroll that sod? You had to get sod today. Yep. You know what? It wasn't even like he got it. It was uh, the neighbor ordered who had built their, built their house at the same time. Yeah. They ordered way too much, and my dad's <laughs> like, "Well, I got a ton that I need to use still, so we need to get it rolled and laid right now." Because he's like, "I can't put any of this in my yard. I, I fucked up on the ordering." <laughs> so it was like you. Need, it wasn't prepared. If I was prepared, I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, had this, but it was that like much? Yeah. eight a.m. and he's like, "You need to go home now. We got like a whole pallet of extra side. We need to get out ASAP." <laughs> Fuck, dude, worst day ever. <laughs> worst day ever. That, that sounds. That sounds. That sounds horrible. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah. And I know when I'm hungover. There's been plenty of days where I'm just like, this whole day is just lost because I just have to lay in bed and just try to sleep. And just get rid of this hangover. Was that White Claw Challenge Day? Yeah, that was <laughs> one day of them. After White I Claw Challenge Day. Man. That was one of them. You didn't have a black eye, though. So you did win. not. No, I did not. We should punch in the, in the eye just for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember this. <laughs> I got a slight scar. You can't see my eye, but a slight scar, like right over here from still yeah. from. From Sod Day. From Sod from Day. From <laughs> sod, 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 sod Day. The Sod, All right. the sod, sod yeah. Day. All right. Don't take Mike's lines here. <laughs> my, my, my bad. <laughs> That's true. That is the worst day of my life. I, that sounds horrible. At least get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Like, like that side. I guess, uh, yeah. For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for the next, for, for we're actually going to get into something new here. Um, Mike, you were one of our early guests. We started yeah. um, around the time we were starting Vanity Insanity. We brought you, you back. You created the name in Vanity, Vanity Insanity. That's true. Yeah. I've had influence on many of the topics. Yeah. Yeah. Overall name. Things the, like that. Yeah, the overall name of the, true. Uh, the show. True. Um, There's going to be a pizza in my mind. Pizza in my mind, but we, yeah, we went to a pizza in my life because a pizza in my mind was already taken. So it was like this. <laughs> I have seen it. This made Damn copyright. This Damn. made sense. Um, but we have a new, a new topic, a new uh, segment. segment that we are going to roll out now. It is called Pizza Podium. Sean, why don't you give everyone a little more details on what right. this is? So what we're gonna do? It's uh, we're gonna do this the first episode of the month. It's a top three. We're gonna do snake draft style, so it'll be a category. We'll go three rounds, three rounds. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll go, you know, right now we'll go Corey to me back and back. You For can't the people at home. who yeah. can't see this video on YouTube. Corey, Eric, Mike, Sean, Sean, yeah. Mike, <laughs> Eric, Corey, uh, Corey to Sean is moving right to left. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> left to right, on which way you're looking at us <laughs> right yeah all about perspective <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. uh no repeats so we're just naming wrestlers right yeah so your name wrestlers give some reason but you're you're Don't trying to you're trying like to get cool your wrestlers. like yeah like your top three yeah okay right without obviously and then there's no repeating a so draft of who you, you get, guys want exactly who would you want your so yeah. the category this year is is a uh, professional month. wrestler are we doing like a royal rumble <laughs> like month. event that we're trying to build towards or like a chillax and day no it's just a this day no, whatever whatever event makes you most happy yeah your top right. favorite wrestlers your top wrestlers so is anyone like i guess to before we do this have any of you guys ever like been to wrestling no no 
I actually have. I went to a. It wasn't like a big event, but it was just a like a Sunday night wrestling was thing. Was it unsanctioned? And no, it was a it was a WWE event. Was this in like the night? I'm assuming all of us watch wrestling in like the nineties, yeah. right? Yeah, this was, was like yeah, 2001. 2001. I, no, it wasn't Pontiac Silverdome. I think it was at Joe Lewis. Oh, but yeah, it was okay. like a Sunday night heat um, wrestling thing. So I got the only one that I was actually at the 2008 WrestleMania. Oh shit! In Orlando. Damn. I was living down there at the time, and it was like what? It was in Orlando, and it was just me and some buddies. Then it was like, dude, it's in town. Do you guys just want to buy Let's tickets to go? No one's watched wrestling How in much years. Were tickets? I I couldn't even tell you. I mean, yeah. they're like sixty bucks or something. We were like upper oh, okay. bowl, I but it was at, like it was at pricey. UCF Stadium. Oh, okay. Um, big stadium, but I'm gonna go if my first pick then you because of pick. this. Shawn Michaels, man, he uh, oh, wow, he ended Ric Flair's that career, is a shocking first and pick, in 2008 Damn. at WrestleMania ended his career. I'll never forget the moment, man. Holy he's, shit! He's in the middle of the ring, and it's Ric Flair's like stumbling around. You know, he's done. You know, this is his last match, and they zoom in on his face, and he looks at him because they're like best friends. Yeah, and he goes, "I love you," and then he sweet chick kitten, <laughs> sweet chin music, yes. sweet yeah. chin music's the man, and just super kicks and pins him, him. and it was grave. like. It was, I, the stadium exploded. It was like one of the coolest moments to be at a live thing I've ever been at. I mean, you at least and I've never been. Here, so oh I think that's gonna God. be that's gonna be the best because of that. But like Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid coming out at the first overall pick is a crazy me, a crazy. Me. I thought I'd be I'd get Shawn Michaels in the second round. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> no man, Reach. this is the coolest shit. <laughs> coolest wow. shit, man. I, I mean, I, no, I, I, I remember. So cool. I get I you. I get Hell, you. Yeah. yeah. I even names. bought I even <laughs> bought a Shawn Michaels shirt that day. Like. Cool, this is so awesome, man. Yeah. Dude. Hey, how do you spell that, Sean and Sean Michaels? It's S-H-A-W, and it yeah, sucks. It I know, it yeah. just sucks. Bummer, but all right, but that's, <laughs> hey, that's, that's, what that's my that's only why wrestling. That's it's not so. on your team. Yeah. I, all right, so then I get the, I get the second pick, and I will take the, I'll take the obvious answer. I'm, give me Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. That's, a, that's oh, a good answer. Shit, yeah, 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 this that's, is, uh, again, for people who don't know, when Eric mentioned this before, this is who Eric tried to pretend that he I was did. online. He, tr- he tried to catfish <laughs> someone. It works. Pretending to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He bought the fanny pack, the gold chain, the turn on All of it, all of it. I mean, The Rock is just such a classic character, especially Future President. especially in his wrestling career. I mean, was just so entertaining to watch. There's a reason he's the biggest star he is now, and it all started in that wrestling. Could never smell just, what he was cooking. The the I gotta be honest, I don't think he cooks. The I'm energy, sorry, the mm-hmm. energy, the the, the slogans, Rock is also the, his personal chef. <laughs> <laughs> the catchphrases that he has, um, all all worked out so well. He was just so entertaining to Can watch. Can you do the eyebrow? No, I cannot. I know oh, you can. The people's We've, eyebrow. You've done it on the video before. His early movies. You got to look very, at the camera, very man. good. <laughs> the Rundown, Walking <laughs> the rundown Tall, yeah. Top Notch movie. Uh, uh, now he does everything. Jumanji. The, you're saying the early, early movies. movies. Oh, okay, early movies. <laughs> when he's, Scorpion King. Yes. Uh, no lines. CG in that. Scorpion <laughs> King and like the shitty mummy. Yeah, I know, but when he was the like the actual <laughs> Scorpion King. Actually, I just watched I weirdly a video where he basically was the archer to Memnon. That's how he killed the evil warlord. Okay. Uh, in, in a Scorpion King. Uh, All right. Uh, you just watch just fact. like one scene. Archer to Memnon. Yeah. Weird snippet. <laughs> Very okay. good to know. That's actually how he's credited as <laughs> Archer to Memnon. Yeah. yeah. All right, Big Mike. Um, I'm a curious person, and then so someone who is the opposite of that, who gives me uh, basically endless questions because they just give you nothing. Um. I'm going to have to go Rey Mysterio. Whoa. Oh. N- another surprise for round a one, A shocking honestly. first round. Because I believe he'd be the Swiss Army knife of the WWE. Uh, kind of. Because I don't know what he does. I don't know what he looks like either. No, no, no one he's does. He's still around, too. He's still. Is he still, still wrestling? I'm pretty I, sure if he I doubt it. it's the same person. I say, we don't. Yeah, he's no, just think constantly it is. be around. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? I'm yeah, pretty sure if you Google it, it'll be like, this is the individual's name and yeah. everything yeah. about him. No, no. I like I the mystique. I don't even know what nationality is. He I'm just had a wicked. Uh, there was a video I saw a couple weeks ago. He was doing a wrestling match, <laughs> and he Smash. did. I never heard him talk. They did a Could thing where like he his Draw eyeball offset? came out. Huh? Yeah, like in, I don't like, in, like the wrestling match. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like he was in a wrestling a match, eyeball. and yeah, it was definitely fake. Oh. Um, but oh, they were doing Ray Mysterio <laughs> yeah. was so much cooler. They were doing a wrestling match, and like the loser had to lose an eyeball. Like that was like the stipulation. The match ended. Man, wrestling has come a long way. Yeah. 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 And I they saw it, and begging I was just like, wow. eye for an eye justice. <laughs> wow, I just hate it so much. Yeah, Ray Mysterio, surprising. That first is round a very pick. surprising. Guy. Honestly, he was just super that random, is. and he pumped it in my brain, and I was that like, wow, he can do all those like flips and whatnot. I don't know how to. He did like a turn belt. I can't relate to that. Yeah. Hey, so I'm very surprised that this person. You got I thought this would be options. the number two pick. I'm going Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's a good pick. Three sixteen, the yeah. greatest, the greatest walking music. That glass shatter. Yep. 
Oh, it was perfect. Just comes in. I still know what 316 is. Oh, ep- I only know it because of him. <laughs> I don't think he's The awesome beer smash, though. Everyone knows the beer smash. Yeah, it was a classic. Fucking, classic like, I mean, movie. again, Steve Austin, I thought was going to be the two, maybe three pick at I didn't at pick it for a oh, reason. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Stellar pick. Mine's very personal. you a bitch for not doing things manly enough. And yeah. Be, yeah, the candy be, ass bitch. You're going to be sticky all day from this rogue beer splatter. That's true, but yeah, you got to think about that. Mike thinks outside the box on these. But okay, also, I mean, <laughs> that guy lives the life I would expect him to live, though. Like, yeah, the broken he does. skull ranch. He's yeah, a, exactly. Has a big pickup. He's exactly who I expect. He's got a TV the show. Persona he's still of yeah. Stone Cold Steve he's, Austin. To be. Stone Cold Steve Austin is still Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like he's uh, the, the same henchman, guy. Um, the henchman to the villain in Expendables One. Yeah, he was yeah, on the, that's he was true. On the wrong end of that franchise, um, right? He's good though. <laughs> the <laughs> very, <laughs> the very racist prison guard in uh, Longest Long Yard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. What mm-hmm. an a lot of wrestlers credit. in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot. You just need a giant people. <laughs> exactly. My second one, <laughs> I, get the I do back. think that honestly this could last, but I want to pick it just because I love it. It's the oh yeah, brother, oh, the Jim Savage. Jim Savage or Randy, Randy Savage. Macho Man? <laughs> Jim Christ. Savage is pretty sure he's like from Boy Meets World. That's Ben, <laughs> ben or Fred. Anyways, Jim Savage. You were the least macho. Wait. Macho Man Randy Savage. Can, can we stop and did we? Can we go back to? Did you think his name was actually Jim Savage for a minute? Yeah, for a yeah. second. <laughs> I feel like he should have to give that pick up. Like, uh, yeah. Right, all right, all right, I'll give it up. I'll give it up. I just want to do the oh yeah. You can do it, man. Oh yeah, that's do wrong. Slim Jim. Macho Actually, he, man. He's he's Jim. Family saved everyone from the rap. You know, the wrestler from <laughs> yeah. Boy yeah. Meets World, Jim <laughs> Savage. <laughs> also, you know also the Savage? Boy Meets World, it was Ben Savage. Too. <laughs> 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 I wasn't even that. He wasn't a wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it Jim was Savage? Ben or is Fred? Ben or Fred? One of them was on Wonder Years. The other one was on Boy Meets World. God. Jim Whatever. Savage. Macho Man Randy <laughs> Savage. That's my pick. Right, That's we got to move on from this one. <laughs> Whatever, oh guys. My God. I do have a question. Ruined it. Now, is the, <laughs> is the wrestler draft pick only reserved to full-time wrestlers, or could it be like the uh, surprise guests who also somehow wrestled? Oh, it's no, because, like, Donald Trump was there one time. I was not picking him. I, I was going to say. At, hey, at that, uh, that 08 WrestleMania, I watched Floyd Mayweather. Punched the big show in the face with some brass knuckles. Oh, after they had a trampoline. Match. <laughs> it was a uh, very, uh, very I, staged. I feel like it has to be a full time wrestler. Damn. Okay. Yeah. I was going to choose, aka, you know, Shaq Diesel, DJ Shaquille O'Neal, uh, the <laughs> big man, Aristotle. The man is everywhere. Yeah, uh, big Aristotle. <laughs> honestly, just opening doors. Uh, <laughs> so now it kind of threw me for a loop because I was really hoping that loophole was actually going to. Uh, I, I gotta think. I think Mike didn't watch a ton of wrestling. No, he didn't. He is absolutely not sure. A ton he of wrestlers. Said, Mike said he knows six wrestlers, <laughs> and I'm pretty confident we've <laughs> named uh, three of them. Mike, there's like the one of the most famous wrestlers of all time still on the board here. Man. There's quite a few famous wrestlers. Uh, can, do they have to be alive? No. no. Okay, then Andre the Giant. I'm picking okay, him. Oh, that's a, I love that one, man. I love Andre, the, Andre Giant, the Giant. The reason is I can name him. Well, that and also <laughs> his drinking stories are like literally oh, like absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah. Un- unreal. He well, got only so wrestler, drunk in Japan. Only wrestler close to your height. Well, he's like seven foot three. <laughs> yeah, so I, close. He was like Eastern Bloc. <laughs> I don't think he was Estonian, but he was something like that. Something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was yeah also, I named man. a movie that had at least two more wrestlers that have not been named in it. You talk about Longest Yard? Yeah. Bill Romanowski <laughs> was not a wrestler. That's not who I'm talking about. <laughs> he was a middle linebacker. <laughs> I don't think Adam Sandler is ever in there either. That's, <laughs> oh, no, shit, no. that's who I was thinking. Nelly? Yeah. Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, yeah, like the I basically would just see how much he could consume. Oh, about yeah. Yeah. You just great documentary a HBO one. Yeah. If you haven't yeah. seen it, well, mainly just be like, hey, you know, he's passed out here. Like we we obviously can't go. <laughs> and then like in Japan, they'd be like, just cover him with like the piano like sheet, and we'll be <laughs> fine. That's what <laughs> the happened. Piano, the piano. <laughs> yeah, there's he some, got there's so some drunk stories, in Japan, man. he could not be moved. So they literally took a grand piano like fitted thing to cover the grand piano and just and put just, it on him and just covered him there was something like when he was there they they got to a bar and the guy said oh i'm you know i'm gonna close but you know i'll stay up as long as you guys want to drink and it was like 11 p.m he ordered I mean, like 60 drinks yeah it was like yeah he just kept drinking it was some, some well, absurd so number big, and they were there for like nine like, hours you know yeah. like there's pictures of him holding like a beer can and it's like it, it's, it's smaller than his yeah. i think i think too the flight it's to japan so he had to, he brought a case of wine for himself yeah for just well, a flight. But again, he's so big. big that like that stuff probably it's just like doesn't a, really affect yeah. It's like a Capri Sun to Eric. Yeah. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't get the reference here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's trying to call you small. <laughs> I don't know. But, but either which way, uh, Andre the Giant, also I, 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 I've heard of him. So. Yeah, yeah. 
So you have a couple <laughs> picks now to try to find another guy. I got to yeah, think of one more guy. <laughs> I got to go deep now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for my pick, my second round pick, um, there's, I mean, there's still so many like good wrestlers that you can choose from. Remember, these wrestlers have to be uh, like a, like an organized team. <laughs> think of like team chemistry in your picks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Mysterio That's what you Andre, were the <laughs> Andre the Giant throws Rey Mysterio. <laughs> he does the he does the frog leap. Like making up rules <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> well, he throws them. Neither of them are American of origin, <laughs> yeah. so remember they, it has to be yeah. a three way tag team. Yeah. So <laughs> and you have to have a celebrity in there as well. And I won Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> All right, no. So for my second round pick, I mean, there's so many good wrestlers to choose from. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna choose a guy who's been doing it for a long, long time. And that is the Undertaker, Ooh, who is just so committed. He's and died multiple just, times. He is just so into it and works so hard and officially wrestling. retired now too. Yeah, yeah. And, like he's one of those guys that you just feel like it's like, dude, this guy did not want to give it up. No. Have you this seen him? He looks like him. normally, like weird. Not. It's so strange to see him. Like he just he also exactly the same as Stone Cold yeah. Steve Austin. I think yeah. he owns a ranch. He was wearing camo, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Like exactly who? Oh yeah, but. Still, just so weird to yeah. see. Him. But just, yeah, like a fascinating guy and just uh, he has so many just classic matches. His, his uh, Hell in a Cell against Mankind is, is that the one where, yeah, unreal. Choke slams him through the top. Yeah, choke slams him through the top. And he some th- tacks or throws something. Even, right? Yeah, and he throws him, throws him off the top, like uh, through the table. I think I remember Mankind unreal had, moments. Like, lasting injuries from that from a, for a very long time, man. Mankind takes a beating. Mankind but, does. Well, I'd love to say that's my. My next pick, but it's not. You have two picks, actually. I know. I, I think. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna hammer it home here as the champion okay. of this, because brother, I gotta take Hulk Hogan, man. That's true. That's you a, gotta no, do that's it. A good one. That, I mean, that I thought that could have been like the first choice. That's he's gotta be pick. the. I I think he's the most famous wrestler of all time. He is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Hollywood Hulk. You kidding? Really me? butterfinger that George Foreman grilled. That, uh, he really did. He I did, actually yeah. just mentioned it to someone. It Could have been a Hulk Hogan grill. I mean, that guy just one. larger than life, coolest dude in a bandana I have ever seen. Um, great mustache, un- unbelievable mustache, great mustache. Also, he should have never had children. In the Rock, <laughs> his daughter was. She was attractive in, in like a <laughs> Pitbull song or something like that. I think uh, ten years ago, yeah. uh, like, right. she had like a she moment, had a moment yeah. where I think she was like you know reality TV, yeah. but like not too far gone she in was, it. She was yeah, like, reality yeah. TV. She was, was trying to good. make music. And she went to live. TV. Brooke Hogan, I think. Uh, yeah, Brooke Hogan. Yep. Yeah, she she looked like a, a discount version of like Kelly uh, Cuoco or Cuoco, whatever her fucking last <laughs> name is. You know, from Big Bang Theory. Yep, yep, yep. yeah, yep, yep. So yeah. yeah, Hollywood. I mean, larger than life body in that, and then uh, yeah. Bow was out the wazoo. And then I'm going to round it with yeah. absolute favorite guy when I was a kid, Sting. Oh. That's a I mean, one. Sting that was the coolest one. guy. That's such a good. I mean, he had the, the, I mean you you're, you're the a police. kid in the 90s, man. Yeah. He sang that awesome song. He would come down from the rafters with a bat wearing that black trench coat. Yes. He had the scorpion lock or whatever his move was. He was like the rebel without a cause. Yeah. Oh, that's a Super solid badass. That's my three, man. Plus, that's it. And he went from he went from WWF, WCW to yeah. the police to solo. <laughs> okay, Sting the Entertainer. All Just, right. Yeah, he had that. He was that's in the. He was part of the Wolf Pack. Time. He was part of the Wolf Pack. Uh, yeah, briefly. I think he was also part of and did the original NWO with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I think, I think Shawn so. Michaels might have been in there too. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. See, that's there team we go, right man. There. Team, they were on a team. Boom. That's, that's team that's chemistry. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. All right, back to you, Jesus. All right, so back to me, and I mean, still so many good wrestlers on the board, but I I have to think of known to me some of the some of the all time greats, and I'm going with the Wildin, high profiling, the rich man steal your girl, Rolex wearing. Mercedes driving. Yep. Private jet flying. Yep. Wheeling, dealing. Wearing, wheeling, dealing, girl stealing, Ric Flair. Woo! Nature Boy. Have I feel like that's Nature Rick, Boy. just R.I.C., right? That's Rick, Classic. R.I.C. Also, Nature I like Boy, your Rick song, Flair. The Ric Flair Drip. Sing it. It's literally just like a but It's a beat with <laughs> Ric Flair Drip. I don't know it. <laughs> I've Get heard on it. Spotify. Okay. I've heard it. Google Ric Flair. It'll come up. Um, no, I mean, th- such a classic wrestler. Had, had a huge career. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved his uh, – h- h- one of his finishing moves was the figure four leg lock. You put someone in a figure four leg lock, th- that move hurts. I don't even know what a figure is, four leg lock is. I, I got to say, I, I'm pretty sure the scorpion lock is exactly just that with a different name. No, the scorpion pretty sure lock – lots of the wrestling moves are the exact same. Yeah, the figure four is just a normal move people use, but his was no, called. No, so the scorpion lock is Half similar – Similar remember. to Bret Hart's, 
it's the like you put the leg through and kind of flip them over mm. and so it's the uh that bend them backwards yeah. scorpion thing kind mm-hmm. of yeah, yeah. Go. Like figure four leg lock choice. you end up kind of you're both like laying that's a great and choice. you just have your uh it's just, no it's a solid legs, choice. i gotta say though, there's just so many good options and i can't wait to see what my my first choose. pick retired your <laughs> pick just so you know Ooh. all right yeah well that's how the draft works <laughs> you know sometimes you uh well i mean all i gotta say is if you're trying to envision something you want like the best the pinnacle okay um another adjective of where that where is he going well, where I'm coming from are parts unknown. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate warrior. Oh, oh, that's a good pick. Ooh, there we go. There you go. Parts and unknown. a good tangent from your uh, comment. Ultimate warrior, yeah. Where are you going? I'm coming from parts unknown. <laughs> that's it, buddy. That's it. Uh, then I know zero information. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I don't know. Dude, but you would come running into the ring. Yeah, with his, with uh, his crazy I, I just love that All everyone that. else is like, Guys, we remember have memories of whatever, and Mike's is like, I remember that guy. I, have heard <laughs> I his can, I heard that I, name. His name. I've heard that guy. Know where he's from, which is technically nowhere. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. And he had bandanas or uh, little tassels on his arms, and then uh, some crazy yeah. face paint. He was a wild man. He was a wild. Crazy. I, I couldn't tell you a single thing about him because I think he was like an '80s guy, though. He, he was more, 90s. yeah, more yeah, an '80s guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or right, whatever. 80s. Sean, last pick. Last this, pick of the draft. This definitely would not be a normal pick in any other draft, but. <laughs> I loved his signature move. Okay. It was one of the most disgusting moves I've ever seen. Rikishi. Oh, jeez. Oh, he he was wow. a he was a Samoan like sumo wrestler. Did not wore, expect like a him. diaper thong and his signature move was slamming his ass into your face. He was part Horse of rib job. <laughs> basically. He was part of the uh, part of Too Cool with uh Scotty Too Hotty. <laughs> your guy. <laughs> your bucket hat. Which was my guy. I should have picked Scotty Too Hotty. I'm actually I surprised to. you didn't. You know, if I had man. one more pick, I'd go uh Diamond Dallas Page, man. Diamond Dallas the Page. The DDP. Is good one. I mean, there's so many I would I love Dudley that guy. the Dudley Bros. Yeah. Dudley Mike's boys. Well, yeah, no what do you think? Else? Like, what, anybody <laughs> else you recall? Okay, so so Plenty from Longest Yard, you got you got uh Goldberg. Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. Yeah, yeah the who diesel. Was Kevin Nash? He, he was the one who he took was the called, estrogen. Oh I yeah, I had no idea. He's a Detroit born uh, yeah. and raised guy, man. He so mentioned by, it he earlier was like too. Called the Diesel. Uh, yeah, like the early. That's the thing. They got a lot of like people have different names. Yeah. So well, he was also part of NWO. He was part of WWO. WWF, and that's when he was Diesel, and then WCW Got was gaining steam. Yep, yep. And Eco Diesel, and he was getting, yeah. you know, Kevin Nash. Man. He, he he traded over to WCW, and but WWF kept the Diesel trademark, and it's the same thing with Scott Hall. They kept. Um, oh, Scott. Is that Scotty Tuati? No, Scott Hall is, was Kevin. Razor Nash. Ramon was formerly Razor Ramon. Razor oh, Ramon, was man, Kevin the Razor's Nash's Edge. Yeah, it was Kevin Nash's tag team partner, but WWF kept those those trademarks on Razor Ramon and Diesel. So when they went to WCW, they had to be just Scott Hall and Kevin IP's Nash. IP's a hell of a thing, man. Intellectual property, yeah. <laughs> they'll get you. Uh, someone so, that no one mentioned that was a great one, Big Show, aka Captain Insano. Honestly, I thought Captain Mike was Insano? just gonna go with the Big Show and like, well, he's another huge human being. Well, I, yeah. I, I got a really small guy. I with huge Kane. Guys. <laughs> Kane. Yeah, is, we did talk about him earlier too. Yeah. yeah. Captain yeah, Shano shows them worse. That's true. He does. Some he good options. Uh, you know, pop. I saw her titties and I like <laughs> them too. He poked my eye. <laughs> he poked my eye. Yeah, uh, and we didn't go Road Dog Jesse James, or Badass Billy there, There's a lot of options oh, that we could have gone. Triple there's, H. There's so many options. Triple, Triple H. H. I thought Triple H would show up. I mean, the guy like Chris Jericho? You mentioned Chris. You mentioned other wrestlers earlier. I know, I did. He knows a few people. He thought Chris Jericho was dead, though. He's playing yeah, That was Chris Benoit. Yeah. yeah. Chris Benoit, yep. Could have named him. You guys remember uh, Ken Hitman. Shamrock actually went on to be in uh, the UFC? Yeah. He was actually a UFC beforehand. Yeah, like before it was the UFC. And then switched yeah, over. and then he went back to it. Yeah. No one picked Goldberg. I remember when he got hit by a car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Vince McMahon hit him with his car. <laughs> Vince McMahon you could have picked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you uh, and that. Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> yeah, shit. Shot or what's... Uh, Shane what's, McMahon. Yeah, Shane McMahon. I Shane O'Mac. Him. Shane. Could have picked on a whole bunch of people that I relatively have heard of before. <laughs> yeah. Triple H is the one I'm surprised. Either way, this this was not so this was I not like a category for Mike. villain in Blade Three, so that's why I don't like it. I don't remember that at this all. It's not a category for Big Mike. No. So yeah, but that's our uh, obscure movie villains though. There we go. Rotate it through <laughs> next time. That's it. Yeah, that's our yeah that's our uh, that's it. Pro next time. obscure movie villain <laughs> Rose from the Titanic cold take. Oh, okay. Next time oh. we're on, we'll do a obscure yeah. movie villains. Plenty of room on that door. <laughs> The Titanic. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> Billy Zane, not that bad. Rose, she's the worst. Hey, Billy Zane. <laughs> all right, get out of here. Um, Billy Zane look like right here. Yeah, so so all these, these uh, all these wrestlers, man. Uh, that, uh, let me wo- do it. Long <laughs> Mike. 
<laughs> let me do the transition. Mike's is chill podcast. For fuck's sake, man. Let me do it, Mike. I can transition to the next topic. Star wipe. All these wrestlers. <laughs> let's see. All these wrestlers occasionally sometimes would have some back problems. When they have back problems, you go to a chiropractor. Mike, do you know? Transition. What a transition. <laughs> Are you man. kidding me? <laughs> I say, yeah, was, yeah, that, that, that wrestling's a long and tough road, man. You end up with a lot of miles on some parts. That's what you were going to say? That sounds like a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> What's a chiropractor? They're not car. <laughs> Are they swindlers? Are they we're doctors? Going, we're going to go with the oh, chiropractor's oh a back mechanic, God. right? That's that's where this is a leading. Back mechanic, chiropractor. But no, anyway, so, you know, the whole... Uh, <laughs> COVID thing. Um, I'm subletting half of my office out to a chiropractor, uh-huh. and I um, am no longer in possession of one of those combo seat desk things you have in high school, which I used to crack my back. Is it basically? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know you're talking about. Yeah, you, you could just, just push, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then you could push on the desk, lean back, and yeah. then you know, hope your feet still lean move after the back. Back. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, so there's a spot in like my upper back I cannot crack by myself anymore. So I'm thinking like, hey, maybe I should go to see him. Yeah, there's not a desk tall enough. But yeah, then, but then <laughs> Mike, I, I'd love to see you try to fit into an old school desk. I'd do it. <laughs> I'd bring it with me. He just, <laughs> yeah, he just sits. <laughs> oh, time to go. Just gets one leg into it. And like, all right, I'll, that's good enough. I'll, I'll learn from here. Um, <laughs> but so I'm hoping um, gives me a little bit of a deal. But like, um, I've heard good things. I've heard people say, yeah, they're the worst. So you've never had your, uh, never been to a chiropractor. No, no. either have I. I've, I've wanted to. Yeah, my so parents. Here. I just feel like a back crack feels would feel so good. Yeah. My parents swear they go to a chiropractor regularly, and they they get aligned, and the spine gets all good, and they say it's so good, it's so helpful, and they highly recommend it. But I've now, been, I've been as well, and it feels great. Have you heard of the uh, the chapstick approach to lips? No. Oh, where if you the more you, you use it, the more need you need it. it. Oh, okay. But the second you need it, your lips have become basically they need chaps or yeah. they'll get. You chaps. become a little addicted to yep. it. They're, your body won't produce the normal oils yeah, that keep, keep your, your lips. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. So basically, weakens your lips to the point where you need chapstick. Yeah. And also, watching Two and a Half Men as a child, uh, Charlie Sheen would always just ridicule. Uh, Alan Harper, yeah, a John Cryer's character for basically being one step above a Boom. prostitute because he was a chiropractor. Okay, I thought that was gonna okay. be eleven. That's just ten stuff. I thought he was gonna tie in the fact that if you go to a chiropractor, it's like you need it forever, mm-hmm. kind of thing. You know, well, that's, that's also what they true. say, right? It, I mean, those are the two words. Once in the back you go, of my head. it's like you got to keep going. <laughs> it's like a drug, man. I mean, I can only take so First much ibuprofen free. in one day. It's kind of like I've I've heard. I mean, I've never had Botox, but I hear that you have to continuously can get Botox. Otherwise, shots your face just falls off forever, yeah. and it's like or it messes up gets, with your face. Yeah, it gets melted. Yeah, like it's like once you're in, you're hooked. Like you have to keep paying them to get it done, or you're gonna make sense. Yeah. So they get you. It's a drug. Well, it's like, yeah. you know, kind of like, oh, they make you feel, oh, that, that helps so good. But then your body's just going to naturally kind of settle back into, like, yeah. your incorrect posture. You're like, damn, now I need to go back and see this guy But it's going to be worse. But, so know. do you oh, need, no is it that you need to go back because they already helped you once? Or yeah. do you need to go back because, like, they actually did something, but your body just aligns back to where it was? Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, the, you the $75 copay question. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think I get one, I think I, I think I get one chiropractor visit, uh, maybe a month for free Jesus. yeah you, you should either be a month or a year you work for the government gone. that's no. a good answer i know it's i, I know. it's something Fancy that it's something that it's like it's more than i would expect but i don't know if for a month makes sense i mean Jeez. but at the same time through random youtube ads and whatnot uh you see all these other things like basically saying like uh these products you see online it'll be like hey you know this can fix your back problem which yeah. problems where my back is a lot of stuff's not my problem but like <laughs> lower back who cares yeah all good. Okay. I am, we all have uh, back problems. I am okay. hesitant about taking risks on some internet products. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us more, host. <laughs> oh, yeah. So wait. So you're not going to the chiropractor. You're thinking about taking some. You're looking at these internet products to fix your back now. Potentially. Self help. I mean, you watch enough videos via forced advertisement. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not spending a subscription on YouTube Plus or whatever the hell that is. Yeah. No, YouTube thank Red. You. Yeah. yeah YouTube. No, thank you every time. Wait, yeah. it's all on. Can we go to that real quick? So there's YouTube. Free, yes. Yeah. And there's YouTube Red, yes. which what do they have? No That's, commercials, no nothing, some yeah. TV, yada, yada. But then there's YouTube TV, which is actually like a streaming yes. service. YouTube TV, TV which is, is, yeah, it's a TV service. Me. But why is there three different options? Like, why don't you just... Because... The, if I have YouTube TV, why don't I have YouTube, like, Red? I you think probably YouTube do. TV includes you, Pete. 
You <laughs> You still have to yeah, watch. If you watch a YouTube yes. video, you still have to see commercials. Yeah, if you have YouTube TV, I have YouTube TV, and I, I love I'm about it. to switch over. I That's love it. I like YouTube thing, TV man. a lot. It's got uh, the price is a little bit steep, um, but it's get, everything's getting up there. It's but just as much as cable is, man. Ooh, uh, kind of, this whole cut the cord thing except, has gone full no, no, circle. Except for like except for the has. cable box. Except for the cable box. Yeah, now you just You're don't still have the cable a little bit cheaper because of the cable box. I internet and cable for me. I was paying like ninety five bucks, and just internet by itself is sixty. Yeah. But timing, yeah. I mean, and I also had these streaming services, so I can't, I can't find another streaming service for under thirty bucks. YouTube TV is fifty. Now but all, yeah. I guess it all but then I gotta get like internet. What, too. No, it's, it's, like up, to, it's get, up to though. sixty-five. Yeah, now. like yeah. where? At what point am I? Have I? Is this make any sense? So the but it depends all. on what stuff you get, though. The new, the new, There's so much money. The new way it goes is at least YouTube TV. I'm not locked. I'm not doing the. You can cancel it any not, time. I'm, I can cancel it at any yeah. time, but I'm not doing the yearly contract where once a year I have in. to call in and be yep. like, "Hey, why'd the bill hey, go fuck up? Fuck you. Why is the bill two hundred dollars this yeah. month? Can I, oh, now you get a special deal. I'm about to switch down. over though because they offer more of the sports channels, and they I can't cable. I do. Well, so I'm out, man. No, so I, I, can't I, I do. Well, I'm out. I'm I not on a stuff. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. TV, if they have a hey, check. Blue, actually, check sports. if they have a referral, and then hey, send me my a code. Uh, I can get you Mike on my check out and save ten percent. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot me some money yeah. each month. I'll get you so that. Perfect. Use my code. I don't want to log in. Use my code. I actually, a buddy of mine gave me his like Xfinity login. Yeah, you get your own account. So I can organize the channels. Your whichever way you want. I want my own DVR. It's right. oh, no. part of it. You can record as much as you want. You got to move in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to continue doing this podcast with me. That's fine. I'll do that. You, Deal. Can, you can watch all the TV while you're here. I signed on to a two-year contract yeah. for this. Yeah. <laughs> they get you by the short hair. That's but anywho, how get you. So, but anyways, yeah, buying buying things you know online. So recently, just purely by Facebook, um, I've actually gotten lucky on two things uh, that have fixed my life well, I've actually helped my life in a very positive way. Okay. Uh, fuse Self-help. sunglasses lenses. You're buying lenses? Just lenses? Not even the whole sunglasses? I don't need them. The frames are fine, but there's minute scratches in the lens. and drives me nuts. How so how are you, you repla- so are you repla- replacing your own lenses? Yeah, they literally just pop in and pop out. He's but do you have a random Ultimate frame? Warrior, yeah, literally. Warrior. My, I have multiple <laughs> pairs of sunglasses. I wear them from time but, to time. But they're random frames, and, and these lenses just pop in? Well, they're designed to fit specific glasses. You okay, so you them. must have Marshall? decent frames. Yeah, they're like all Oakley stuff. Okay, so you're buying fr- lenses to fit these Oakley sunglasses. Yeah, well, like I scratch my... My How often are you scratching lenses. these lenses? Yeah, what are you doing? Not very often. Are you reckless with your sunglasses? I have them for years. You falling out of trucks like Corey? No. <laughs> no sunglasses. No, <laughs> Probably, maybe what a safe face, face, baby. Yeah. But any which way. <laughs> uh, but like for like 30 bucks, you can buy like replacement lenses online, and actually they ended up working out swimmingly, so I've been very happy with those. Interesting. Uh, so so swimming that, is that's lenses. Your plug? Actually, that's swim, part swim, of where they get scratched. Swimming. Swimming, uh, swimming or if you're <laughs> in a spot where... Sunglasses. <laughs> or if you're in a spot where you don't have like your protective microfiber, you know, kind of sheath, your of cloth, um, you always need to have your protective sheath. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so are these glasses or sunglasses? Sunglasses. I have perfect vision, so I don't need. How often are you putting lenses? your uh, <laughs> sunglasses into the protective microfiber sheath? Well, every time I golf, so like <laughs> two, three times a week. Unless it's sunny, then I'm wearing them. But if it's not sunny, then I put them in the sheath. But sometimes if you don't have it, then they get scratched. If you need golf lessons, reach out to Eric to reach out to Mike to give you golf lessons. Yeah, but anyway, anyway you, you can email us, apmlpod at gmail.com. We'll forward your email to Mike. And then Didn't I will send episode. you my uh, um, golf now promo code, <laughs> and you can get all your tea time for whatever it is. <laughs> I was like, go ahead and give you any lessons. <laughs> like, what, what, what was the other thing you bought? So the other thing was actually Vice Golf Balls. <laughs> Really? Okay. Uh, oh, you got you got go. hooked on you got hooked on the uh, the ad. The shitty part is via the pricing, you got to buy five dozen. What do you what? Because then it takes the price per dozen down. And they have seven bucks flat shipping if you buy one dozen. You buy a hundred dozens of golf balls. So I bought five so dozen do the golf math balls. On that. <laughs> it's flat. It's so flat you shipping. so you're buying five dozen golf balls. Yeah, and it takes it from like thirty five bucks a dozen to like twenty five bucks a dozen. So it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. Not but terrible. Do you are you getting how cool, long does it take cool you to get through them? Not, I mean, I only sometimes Who lose cares, like one man, or two. If it takes you eight years, good yeah, for you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you, you don't go bad. Are you getting cool colors? 
white. I like getting yeah. cool colors, man. No, see, I'll but buy the orange balls. I like. Yeah. That. No, but I think, I I think like getting the colors is like when you're like when you don't golf as much because it's like all right, I just want something cool. Yeah. But when you golf, like the white ball is so much easier to yeah. see. My brain cannot compute other colors. I feel like the <laughs> orange is, is a lot easier to no, see. No, I'm telling, dude. I'm telling you. I guess I haven't golfed lost. in the fall. You know, first year, so it's always been. I don't know. It's agree. still the orange. The orange. You don't realize how much the orange just gets lost in like the even just in the grass. To be fair, yeah, I did. Hey, golf you ever golf in the last spring weekend. with uh, dandelions? Yeah, your yellow ball is now yeah. screwed. Yeah. I lost my orange ball in an area. I for sure was like, oh, for sure, it's right over there. I'm gonna find it. I never found. Oh, it. I've done that with yeah. white balls too, yeah. where you're like in an open field. You're like, I know the ball's here. Yeah. Sean like, and I went golfing once, and I think you were using red balls. And I swear, every every yeah. hole after no, no, your it was drive, blue. it was blue. They you were, were like, I can't find it. Yeah, they were no light. <laughs> they were light went. blue balls. I and got them, got, uh, <laughs> and then you got some action at the turn. Hey. He's got a turn dog. <laughs> Turn him into regular white balls. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to start holding the fingers. Were they? So I think I think we're at eleven. Yeah. Uh, no, no, but I, I had know, I had yeah. light blue bo- light blue balls because I had a golf outing for my work and our company's colors are like get like some teal. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get these for that out for that outing, and I had a bunch. Yeah. And then like yeah, we use them, and I think we legitimately lost them for the first like three out of the first five holes, and they were. In like a decent spot, like they were not playable, yes. findable, should have yes. been findable. Yeah. Like they weren't in shit; they were just in like a field in like tall grass. Yeah, you didn't we know. just couldn't find them. Yeah, Mike, did you look into these balls before you buy them? Or you just like shoot, I'm gonna buy them. They're cheap. Well, I've heard about them. Uh, I texted my one like <laughs> so like you know like Facebook does like the time hop memories, whatever. Yeah. Two years ago, I was like, hey, anyone play these balls? And then like literally seven of my golf buddies were like. Yeah, I've never played them. Always heard about them. You got to buy five dozen. That's yeah. a lot of balls. To I've have. told you to, to buy five dozen. Well, literally, yeah. that's the deal. Apparently. You'll buy one at thirty-five bucks a dozen, but like at the fifth dozen, it goes down to like twenty-five bucks a dozen. So, so you might per, as well. So you might as well. Yeah. Um, but so then, what are you going to stop golfing because you have back problems or something? Probably Come on. not. Come on. Tiger didn't. Exactly. Mike, power throw. But so that anyway, <laughs> um, but like looking at reviews online and like obviously they're kind of skewed because people are like, yeah, these things are great. And then mm-hmm. like other times, like people are like, they were, were just all it's right. It's all one or five. But I'm like, great. Now I got like five dozen of these just okay balls. Um, but then kind of kind of happens to like me what I buy on a normal thing. I'll do a whole bunch of research before I buy it. And then when I buy yeah. it, I'm like, I know I bought it. There's no returning it. I already used it. Like yeah. I cannot return them. But then I'm like. Did I buy something good? So then I'll just do re- reviews so like on a buyer's after. remorse. That's but are you just looking for reviews that b- that <laughs> go back to like, hey, I made a good choice? Boom. So if you see like a one star, oh, yeah. you're like, well, that person's an idiot. But then also, you see a five star, you're like, that guy. Gets but it. then also, there's yeah. like a couple people on YouTube that I like, kind of pay attention to a lot, and then like literally right after I'll buy it, they'll do a review on it. But like, I've already bought it. So what do I do now? I'm yeah. like hoping and praying. Like, yeah. oh, they're pretty good. They're worth a try. I'm like, yes, I'm not an idiot. So Mark. if they do a bad review, then you're like, well, whatever. They're dumb. Hey, Corey, yeah, I got no. some birthday presents for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, you see the bad reviews, and you're just like, ah, no, these guys are they're just being too harsh. You guys don't know what they're talking they're, about. They're being too harsh. Let me, And then you sort the, uh, the I got reviews. Good, I got from, a good from sample. From five to one. So you're like, all right, let me read some of the good reviews. Let I, me was so, the, I was in the good batch. My, so do you, trust, do you trust reviews from like people that you know more than just like on the internet? Mm-hmm. I look at the negative reviews more than the positive. Reviews. I'm always no, but so I'm saying like people that you know though. Yeah, positive reviews. It's like well, the company just made yeah. their name and it's like. Yeah. But yeah. but I was talking about any on the internet. Do you just like Adam from this like place. like if you were like getting like maybe not golf balls because Corey just started golfing. But, I'm like, but hey, like try these shoes. I love these shoes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like would you you would probably listen to reviews from like Mike more than just like on the internet, right? Like if he's like, hey, yeah. Yeah. If, if, if I'm looking shoes. for reviews, if Mike just came up and said buy these, I'm like fuck no, I buy. Yeah, I'm never yeah. gonna buy those now. No, but if you were like, hey, I, I, want, I want some like good golf shoes. Yeah. Mike's like, hey, these yeah. Yeah. actually, good I did. Right? Exactly. Like, I think when I when I bought my shoes, I was like, Mike, should I buy these? And then I'm like, hey, you wear normal feet. You have all of you know. You have so many options. It's true. Well, because you have the uh, like personal relationship exactly. with the person, so you know my trust boy. it a little bit more. You're like, all right, I know what their opinion is harsh yeah. on. But like one time I was at Best Buy, and I was buying my new TV. I bought like my 60-inch TV uh, however many years ago, and there was a guy there with like a basic phone working at Best Buy, like a flip phone. I'm like, I'm not going to take any piece of technology <laughs> yeah. from you. He's like, you don't need it. Check yourself, ah, Best got Buy. I got a 35-inch, got a real wide it's back. It's yeah. what you want. It's like, the, uh, you know, it's like the barber with the comb over. Like, get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. Yeah, it's like, you don't, you know, don't know what you're doing. No. What if he was a great hairstylist, and he just he uh, it was not blessed with hair? Maybe he's like, I, I tried too much of myself. <laughs> yeah. Paid the price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I did too much. <laughs> you have a finite amount of cuts. That's true. Oh, well, theoretically. Other yeah. times, no. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You never know. <laughs> I mean, hair, hair will grow like 
I think you're either predetermined to go bald or you're never going to go bald. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was joking when I said you have fine hair. All cuts. right. Well, anyways, Sorry. were you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and Mike, guys, thank you for being on the podcast. Uh, this week we did a special, you know, double two part episode. One of the last things that we always ask every guest that comes on the episode is, do you have anything you want to promote or recommend? Uh, Mike, we'll go ahead and start with you. Do you have Skip? Skip. <laughs> All right. So he's going to pass his turn. No, no. The peanut butter. <laughs> oh, s- Skip? <laughs> Skippy? A uh, hard no. I mean, like, just good. I just want to go after Corey. Corey? No, I, mean, I, I, have, I have no idea. Like, I Corey, anything anything you're watching on Netflix or any music you're listening to that you're, is just hitting the spot that you want to recommend? You know what? Uh, if you haven't watched Succession, it, I think Great it's show. the best show Great on show. television. I really Such do. a good show. I, I think uh, you know the business guy in me is a bit tied to it. And it's a great show. Me, but I think it's the best show on television. I people I recommend it to, not enough of them are watching it. I love season one. I love season two. The succession is, I think, one of my favorite shows that's going on right now. But I'd recommend that. I also just want to point so out that good. Mike's already like suggested, in a sense, two things. Like vice golf balls, few sunglasses. Uh, no, those are things he's <laughs> bought, and he needs. He said he, he said, that few, he said that the few sunglass uh, that lenses were great. They were great, <laughs> better, yeah. than, better than what I anticipated. <laughs> See, so I'm just also, using my promo code to check out. So many options. You know, I, I love this. You know, the I like promo. Mike. All your insurance needs. Got a big mic here. As long Ooh. as you're in uh, decent areas. Farmers insurance. <laughs> Farmers <laughs> insurance. There it is, man. As long as you have a good record. <laughs> Hit up Mike. Yeah. If I can he's my insurance guy for everything. That's there you true. go. He's got great policies. Bad. Great policies. Are you going to return the favor on a reference here? Yeah. If you uh, need any financial services, contact uh, Corey Frost. And if you got like, you know, a <laughs> million dollars in the bank, he's your man. Yeah. Don't call yeah. him if you don't. <laughs> I was yeah. say, so you only have to be so, that high. It's, it's all right. So I get the, my company like a <laughs> hundred thousand minimum, but the, I work on a team. And oh, Jesus. realistically that if, if you don't have like $2 million, it's unless you're like referred in from someone who's a client. Yeah. My we're God. just not the people for you. Yeah, go my fuck God. your actual. We're, yeah. yeah. We're not the people for you. Yeah. Not just the regular You guys. said that. I thought that was a joke. Like, I don't make money until like you have a good account, but like you just <laughs> literally <laughs> don't. Yeah. Li- literally the, the firm will not legit. pay us if it's under a hundred thousand. Like, it, but yeah. But we just who we are as a structured team yeah. and what we deal with, <laughs> it's it legitimately two million plus is kind of what we're looking That's for. That's insane and everything. That's so insane. If you got five hundred grand, they're like, hey, come back in a couple years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. they're like, oh, hey, that's stop being a poor. Chump come back. Yeah, that's chump change. We're not gonna play that's with that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a go to Edward Jones kind of thing, man. Ah. <laughs> Simmer down, day trader. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, the one show because um, I've been kind of watching. You know, I basically going back and forth. I, I, I can't watch The Office at like an eighth time. Why? Well, yeah. I can. Yeah, but basically, I'm like, time. I just know everything already. So then I'm like, hey, let me try to figure out something else. So I started watching How I Met Your Mother again. Great. Okay. Show. And then it's just kind of funny where Tracy all these, Siegel, like, man. where all these, uh, basically people come out, these stars, like, you know, Steve Carell, you know, it's like, yeah, we can't make this show again. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I kind of like remember, I'm like, oh, yeah, they cannot make this show again. I don't think How I Met Your Mother <laughs> has that, though. Um, I think there's well, a little the biggest bit with womanizer Barney. in the history of television is a homosexual man. Yeah, I, don't think, I think that actually makes you allowed to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it gives you You're like only a pass. Like, like yeah, like he's not. No, I think in today's culture, it's like, oh no, we need an actual womanizer to play that role. Uh, you yeah. can't oh. have someone else. They took her jabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I have a. Feel, it seems like all those shows, honestly, yeah. like you couldn't make any of them anymore. But yeah. Yeah. Parks and Rec, probably even not. Friends as well. Like, there's so many fat jokes in there and right, well, stuff what's, that's. What's a? I guess to one last tangent. What's a good like funny show that's on television that they're currently making that people seem to Brooklyn Nine Nine. That's a good one. There we go. Yeah, they yeah. seem to make that. That's got uh, some always sunny, jokes. but they they purposely are like, hey. Oh yeah, they're they're, we, they're South like Park. Grand, them, they're, they're like grandfathered yeah. in. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're well aware we're on, uh, you know, a, yeah. a <laughs> South Park <laughs> network, but it's because we we hold the. They got the grandfathered in to yeah. be like uh, able to like be in blackface still. Yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> and even they're like we're on FX. Actually, we don't yeah. Care. Yeah. All right. Well, guys. Thanks again for we'll wrap wrap it up there. Corey, thank you for being on the podcast. For your first Mike, time. Thank you for coming I forgot back. My, second time. I forgot my punch card at home. I'm sorry. That, that's true. Fifth well. time's free. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's... Really? Guys, the fun brokers on yeah. the episode. You can, of course, email us at apmlpod at gmail.com. We're not a real business, though, so don't call I us. Will, if you I are will make looking, an LLC for Christmas for Corey. If you are <laughs> looking for fun, contact the fun brokers. It's Guys, insurance and you have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for listening. If thank not, you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Brandon Fraser.
I had some dude with a crow on his shoulder attached to a leash come up and tell me I'm a fucking stallion. <laughs>